When two depressed bodies are in the same universe, they inevitably attract one another. This is due thanks to the law of gravitation. Some Englishman you've never heard of called Isaac Newton used empirical observation to make high school and college more difficult by making an equation for this phenomenon. As an example, consider you have a 1 kilogram apple and a regular giant 10 kilogram worm 5 meters away from the apple. Well, according to math, the force exerted on these two monsters is equal to the product of their combined weight divided by their distance squared. An interesting consequence of this formula is that two objects pull each other with the same force but in opposite directions, hence the minus sign of the force on the apple. Just like we measure time in seconds or distance in meters, we measure a force in newtons which comes from multiplying mass and the distance all divided by seconds squared. If we look at the equation of gravity Newton invented and do a unit analysis, we see that big G must have its own units of meters cubed over kilograms times seconds. A better explanation of why we need G over simply making the math work is that we know the forces exerted on bodies are proportional to the product of the masses divided by the distance squared but not exactly equal. In order to get accurate results on the force, we multiply it by G. Through clever experiments, advanced fish were able to get an extremely close approximation of what value G must be. About 10 zeros followed by 667. This isn't the full story though. Although Newton's equation is blindingly accurate for most things in our daily lives, it fails to describe anomalies caused by bigger objects, such as Mercury's orbit around the sun. It took a couple hundred years before a clever Jewish man reinvented the wheel and found a better description of the universe using an equation that also uses big G. Our upgraded equation may not be the full story either, and maybe someday another genius will come and reinvent our current understanding of the universe once again.